If you're anything like me, you love using Camtasia to edit your videos and especially to add captions to your videos. However, there is no easy way to change the vertical position of those captions using Camtasia's captions tool or when importing an SRT file into your video. You can change the font, font size, font color, and even vary the transparency of the background. But the captions will always be at the very bottom of your video. You can't move them up unless you follow the steps I'm gonna show you in this video. Hey guys, I'm Rob Moore, and I help people edit videos with Camtasia, earn a living with Fiverr, and make YouTube videos. If any of this interests you and you want to help support this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Earlier this year, I created a video that shows you how to move your captions up from the bottom of your video in Camtasia. I'll put a link to that video up top. But that video was incomplete. Sure, it showed you how to move the captions up, but it did not address the background. You would lose the background if you followed that method. Camtasia has a feature that allows you to easily add a background to your captions, a background of any color, and you can also vary its transparency. So if you want semi-transparent backgrounds behind your captions and the width of the background varies with the width of the captions, no problem. But if you wanna move those captions up from the very bottom of the video, that's when it gets a little tricky, especially if you also want to keep the captions background. But have no fear, in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps you need to follow to solve this problem. I'll show you how to place your captions and their background anywhere in your video. So let's get into it right now. Okay, I'm in Camtasia and I have a project file loaded. This project file already has a captions, captions in it, so a captions track right here, captions or subtitles. Um, here in track five. These captions are at the bottom of the video. That's where Camtasia puts them. If you use their automated captioning tool, not automated, but if you use their captioning tool, this is where they go. You can't move them. Um, so now let me show you the trick as to how to move them up. If we want them higher, maybe you want them at the very top, in the middle, or, or a third of the way up, wherever. So the trick is you have to render the captions alone, so without any video, just render the captions in, into a video file. Um, and then you're going to bring that back in uh, to the video file. So let's go through this. In order to render just the captions, we need to first hide everything else. So let's go ahead and hide all of the video elements. Okay, now we just have the, uh, the captions here. Uh, the next thing we want to do, let's just save that. We'll go up to export and create a new custom production to render the video. And aha, we can't render the video. The MP4, which is how we want to render it, uh, MP4 is not an option. And the reason is because we have uh, uh, hidden all of the video elements. There are no video elements uh, here. So it, it's a bit of a bug, I think. I think we should be able to, in fact, a couple of versions ago in Camtasia, we used to be able to do this. Um, but uh, within the last one to two years or so, they made a change and you can't. So uh, let's just cancel out of here. Uh, the trick to allow us to do that is we have to add a, uh, we have to add a video element back in. So what I'll do is go up to annotations and I'll just drag a, a square or a rectangle onto the screen, and I'm going to change the color to match the background with the eyedropper tool. There you go. So we have a video element here, but you can't see it because it's the same color as the background. So now when we go to export or render the video, MP4 is an option. So great. So let's leave that selected. We'll click next. Our video settings are fine. Next, next. Now, uh, another thing we want to do here, we if this is the name we want our final video to be, um, I'm going to add a little uh, something at the end of it, dash txt for text. Uh, it's just something I do so I can, uh, uh, I can know which one it is. Um, click finish, and then our video file will render. So what's happening is we are creating a video of only the captions. Um, and then the idea is we're gonna bring those back into the video and then do some further edits. Okay, the render is finished. So now let's go ahead and let's delete this square. We don't need that anymore. Um, so now let's go to media. 
And let's bring in, we want to import the video we just rendered. My downloads folder, here it is right here. Open. This is it here. Now let's drag it to the timeline. Uh, so now let's unhide all of the video elements. But we still can't see them because this was rendered with an all black background. So now we need to get rid of that background. Uh, the first thing I like to do actually is use the crop tool and bring it down here. Now, I know that this file only has one line of subtitles showing at one time. Uh, if you have two, then, then you'll want to go to, um, you'll want to go to a place, for instance, that has two, two lines. So let's just make two lines there and I'll show you what I mean. Um, there you can see, so you'll want, you, you don't, you want to leave, you want to leave it as, at least as high as, as your, your subtitles. Okay. So obviously you don't want to crop it there because you have all this extra black there. So, so you'd want to do that. Um, but again, for, uh, for my case, everything is one line. All my subtitles are just one line, so I'm going to crop it down to there. We want to keep the original captions uh, track hidden. As you can see, the original captions, if we move this up, we can see the original captions are still there. Let's keep those hidden. Okay. These are our new captions. Okay. Let's take the crop tool off. Now, you can move these wherever you want, up, down, off to the sides, wherever you want. And, and they are still synced to your video, the audio of your video. Um, to get rid of the black background, uh, what we want to do is go over to Visual Effects, uh, get the Remove a Color tool, drag it onto this element. And now over here, we want to remove this black color. So we will select, let's select the eyedropper tool to select this black color we want to get rid of. And boom, there you go. The black is removed. Uh, now, if we want to zoom in here, you can see um, if you want to try, you want to, you want to uh, adjust the tolerance, softness, and defringe to try to get rid of these artifacts here. So if we just kind of play with these a bit until it looks the way we want it to look. There we go. We've gotten rid of all of the, all of the black there. Um, now let's go back to fit the screen and there are the subtitles in Camtasia Studio. So let's dive in. Right. Okay. Now there's another part to this. So what if we wanted the black background or what if we wanted a semi-transparent background? If you recall, so let's just hide this and show our original subtitles. Our original subtitles or captions have this black background. And in fact, we have the ability to change the opacity. So it's semi-transparent. Okay. Now, the way we uh, added back in the new subtitles, the new captions, um, there was no way to keep that black background. So what I'm going to show you now is a way to do that, a way to have a semi-transparent uh, background in any color you want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the opacity back to 100% of the background in our original captions file. And what I want to do, I'm going to create a new track here. I'm going to insert a new track below the subtitles. So let's just uh, right click and insert track. So here's a new blank track. Now I want to, here's the trick. I'm going to add a green screen behind these subtitles. So let's go up to annotations, drag our, um, our rectangle shape back onto the screen. Let's make sure it lasts the entire length of the video. And now let's change the color and make it a green screen. Now we also want to fill the entire screen with this. Okay, so now we have basically a green screen that's hiding everything else except for the subtitles and the black background that is 100% opaque, not see-through at all. 
Um, so now we want to render this video. So let's save this, go up to export, and we're going to render this as an MP4. Video settings are okay. Now this time, remember the last time I added .txt, I'm just gonna add a two beside that because this is gonna be yet another video file. And let's render this one. Okay, now once that has rendered, I'm going to import that. Actually, we can get rid of this green screen now. Let's delete that. And let's delete that track. And now let's go to our media library and add in the new video .txt2 that we just rendered. Let's open that. Here it is here. Let's drag it to our timeline. There we go. So now what we want to do is use the crop tool and make this smaller like this just so you can see better what's happening. You didn't, we didn't actually have to do that. Um, but with this selected, we're gonna use the remove a color tool again, and drop it onto this green element here. And we are going to now remove, actually before I do that, I wanna make sure all other subtitle files are hidden, okay? We have two others. So we have three subtitle files right now. We have our original subtitles, here and then we here we have our subtitles there that we um, actually what I'm going to do this is the first set of subtitles we created I'm going to bring those back down to the bottom so they line up perfectly with uh, uh, with these ones and with the new ones so let's hide those and unhide the new ones here are the new ones now let's remove that uh, that green color with the remove a color tool use the eyedropper Select this green, and there you go. So now we can see there's a bit of uh, artifact left here. You can see, still see some green around it. So again, you play with these tolerance settings to remove all of the green, but none of the black. Okay, that looks good. There we go. Oh, as we can see here, uh, this video we rendered and brought back in has some audio to it. We don't want that because it'll sound echoey. We already have our audio down here in track two. Well, some is in track two, some is in track three. So let's, um, let's remove this audio. So we'll just go, uh, we'll right click and we'll click on edit audio. And we'll just put it down to zero. There's the new subtitles. And as you can see, we can move them up to wherever we want them. And we've maintained the background. Okay, now this is a solid background. If we want the background to be semi-transparent, um, like the original ones were, then what we have to do is we can just take this element here with it selected and we'll go up to the opacity up here and we can change that. And notice how that's making it semi-transparent. Let's just type in, I, use, I like to use 50% here. Um, there, that's semi-transparent. Now, it also made the subtitles, the text, semi-transparent. We don't want that. We only want the background semi-transparent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring back the subtitles that we rendered with just subtitles with no background. And we're going to put them on top. Of the transparent background. And now we can select them both. And move them together.
the there you professional go. video tutorial. And that's how you can place your captions and their background anywhere in your video using Camtasia Studio. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click the thumbs up icon below. And for more helpful tips, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Also, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.